and I have had so many um, witnesses um, message me at here wanting to know what I did. I must have committed some horrible sin to be disfellowshipped out of Jehovah's organization. Um, so when I was reading this book, Organized to, um, yeah, to Accomplish Your Ministry, and again, this, at the door, guys, they're not going to tell you this, but this is what's in the book for disassociation. So you can see. Not false information, unless this is old light, my JW trolls. Okay, disassociation. The term disassociation applies to the action taken by the person who, although being a baptized member of the congregation, me, deliberately repudiates his Christian standing, rejecting the congregation and stating that he no longer wants to be recognized are known as one of Jehovah's Witnesses. As a disassociated person, his situation before Jehovah is far different from that of an inactive Christian who, having grown weak spiritually, no longer shares in the field ministry. Such an inactive person may have failed to study God's words God's word regularly or his zeal for serving Jehovah may have cooled off due to his experiencing personal problems or persecution the elders as well as other concerned members of the congregation will continue rendering appropriate spiritual assistance to the inactive brother however the person who has disassociated himself by repudiating the faith and deliberately abandoning Jehovah's worship is viewed in the same way as the one who has been disfellowshipped. A brief announcement would be made to inform the congregation that the person has voluntarily disassociated himself from the congregation. Concerning those who renounce their Christian faith in his day, the Apostle John wrote, they went out from us, but they were not of our sort, or if they had been of our sort, they would have remained with us. Also, a person might renounce his place in the Christian congregation by his actions, such as by becoming part of a secular organization, the object of which is contrary to the Bible and hence under judgment by Jehovah God. Does that apply to the United Nations uh, governing body? I missed my place. Hold on. <laughs> so if the person who is a Christian chooses to join those who are disapproved by God, it would be fitting for the congregation to acknowledge by a brief announcement that he has disassoci disassociated himself and no longer and is no longer one of Jehovah's witnesses such a person would be viewed in the same way as a disfellowshipped person one who has committed adultery one who is a, a pedophile raping children. Um, actually, they keep them in the congregation. That Take that back. <laughs> Do your research, folks. Um, but again, this is exactly why I was kicked out of the organization. Because what did I do? repudiated my faith or the faith in the organization, deliberately abandoning Jehovah's worship or worship of this organization that teaches crap. And one day when I awakened fully and saw the big pile of poop I was standing in, I questioned 
No, I was not disfellowshipped because I committed fornication. No, I was not disfellowshipped because I was this horrible person and I did uh, I was a liar and a cheat and I did all kinds of illegal, immoral things. No, I questioned the bull crap. And because I questioned, I lost my family and my friends. So again, again, interested ones. Jehovah's Witnesses are not going to tell you this at the front door. And there's more to this. Let me, let me, let me show you something else. Okay. I already read this, this association, but you know, there's also, I want you to see, make sure I'm not pulling your legs so you can see this. It says non-baptized associates who are wrongdoers. So if you are not even baptized yet, but you're in association with the brothers and sisters at the hall, and at one point, you know, you are allowed to go to, to certain um, uh, gatherings with the witnesses, with the, the spiritually strong ones, um, in, in, in an effort to, to, you know, include you and to actually further indoctrinate you to get you fully in. That's what they do. They won't tell you that, but that's what they're doing. But say, for instance, if uh, one of you guys who are one of the um, approved non-baptized associates to hang out, say, for instance, if some